Meh. Meh. Hello. <laughs> we are in. I should probably. Nah, I'll do the base afterwards. It won't make any difference. The other one. Okay, it's just that one. Hello. Finally, uh. <laughs> oh god, finally got the, um. This event. I, to be honest, I actually completely forgot about the event. I remember getting quite hyped over the, um. The trailer for it, and then. <laughs> And then everything happened and it just sort of forgotten. Oh wow. Discord has already said I'm live. That's fast. Anyway. Hello Knight. Hello Speedy. Hello Torst. Hello Wolford. Hello Scarf. Time for you to debut from my Academia, yes. How many rolls do I have? Ah, I was accurate. I've got about three rolls worth. Let's see what we get. I probably could save to 6,000, but I'm just going to do it now. Makes no difference. Ooh, nothing. Hello, Kaiju. Not, not the free solo. Yep. <laughs> A bit early. Uh, I'll leave. Oh. Ooh, do I leave one or two? Okay, I've done that. Yes. Good idea. I shall leave the other two until the end. Uh, if, I, if only those four, I'll do two and two. But I don't think I have four's worth. It's, uh... Yeah, no, I don't have four worth. Ah, shame. Um... Uh, anything else I need to do? No. Hmm. Normally I normally I have to wait a while for um, Discord to tell everyone I'm live, but it's just gone instantly, so I guess we're going right into it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, not going to complain. Let's see. I wonder if there's going to be a... Oh, no, there isn't. Okay. Oh, I like his hair with like the cross, um, the X pattern um, hair sort of thing. I forgot what it's called. Another free in shop. Okay. All right, I'll have a look at that um, afterwards then. Let's see, what's this called? Convivia uh, Senarum Localia. Okay. Oh, that's right. And Ida is the um, free, the freebie. Sa oh, God. Sanctilaminium Ambrosia. Ambrosi, rather. E. All right, might as well go right into it then. Spuria time. Okay. Let's see. Crown offering. The well, hello history. Uh, the holy city bestows a radiant crown. They say Laterano is paradise. A land of freedom, happiness, and order. Mm, not with this music. One of the few left in this chaotic world. Have you ever known doubt, my child? How was our city built? How did it grow? And how did it prosper? We built this city on rock and roll. Why is there only one Laterano? Why is it called the Eternal Paradise? Why are the dogs barking outside while I'm trying to read? <clears throat> mm. 
if the fires of war burn once more and peace falls into ruin before our eyes, will the world continue to tolerate paradise? Oh, danger. Repeat. Danger. Oh, that's not good. Hello, Law. Also, I don't know why I immediately thought of, um... What's it called? Anyway. Danger level analyzing. Maximum. Deploying simulation sequence. Simulation failed. Activating emergency response mechanism. Outputting suitable personnel list. I, I keep thinking of the um, announcer, the, the warning person in um, SCP Laboratory. And we're in happy time. <laughs> they are here, your holiness. Very well. Are you sure about this? There is no precedent for it. Aside from the canonite canoni Aside from the canonization of the popes, it's risky. Why do I feel like canonization in this case is literally a canon? You are correct. I could find no such record in our millennium of history. But that is no but that is of no concern. I tried so hard not to make a cannon show. <laughs> Damn it, parkour. I'm sorry, Zek. <laughs> what is of concern is the warning I received. What is it about specifically? I would answer your question honestly, if I could. Our glowing faith has warned us that danger is near, but no one knows what it is, or how it will arrive. I only see a list of names. It is the list of names that you've approved for the winter sale on Steam. First on the list is the main character of today's performance. That's why you proposed canonizing him? You're late? Nope, we just started. Still, the title of Saint is special, reserved only reserved for the holy ones who built Laterano. I hold the same title. That's different. You're the Pope, sir. You're conceding a significant amount of power. He will have the right to participate in a multitude of matters, even policy making. This is no small thing. Easy, Giovanni. Nothing ventured to nothing gained. Wasn't Giovanni a name in one of the other events? As in, like, not, not Lateran related events. And, as I said, there is more than one name on the list. What? Are you proposing that all of them be canonized? Il Sirikuzano? Yeah! Wasn't there a Giovanni in that as well? That's abs I mean, against the rules. But don't be so quick to judge, Giovanni. We need to find them first. I saw some familiar names. Do you know who's on it? No idea. In that case, I'll let it remain a secret for a little longer. Giovanni, I think I'll visit these friends after the ceremony. Why are there so many balloons? There's even a pie throwing competition on the street up ahead. 
Pike throwing. I had to take a detour because of all the pies on the ground. Is there some sort of festival going on? No idea. I heard it's a ceremony or something, but I don't know the specifics. <laughs> Who cares? At the end of the day, let's just enjoy the occasion like we always do. Giovanna. Ah, Rosati. That's what it was. But say, do you think I could fly if I tied myself to these balloons? You don't have a prayer, even if you lost 20 pounds. Don't say that. Maybe I could take off my jacket. It's a pretty warm day. Hey, look, new balloons. Here, hold my jacket. I got to try this. Oh, I have missed Lateran. Laterano. <laughs> hello, hello. Have you listened to any of the new ENVAs they added? Oh, I did before um I did before starting the stream, and then I thought, ah shit. I should have listened to them on stream. <laughs> I listen. Um, I gotta say though, what's his name? Quick, quick. Uh, I, I think one of the Sam is it Sammy or from the other places? Um, starts with a Q. I can never think of how to pronounce it. I I thought his voice was really cute. Yes, that one. Like he just sounded like such a dork. <laughs> I loved it. Nothing exploded yet. Hmm, yeah. Hey, be careful. <laughs> oh no, he's actually... Oh, and there he goes. Whoa, I'm flying. Uh, hey, how do I stop climbing? Oh no, I forgot I'm scared of heights. Oh, you fool. Pardon? Uh, hey, don't go. Help. Hmm? Help! Let me down! <laughs> He's gonna shoot the balloons, isn't he? Alright. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe, okay, I guess it wasn't that high up yet. Ow! Man, that hurt! But thanks! My balloons. You popped them all? Did you really have to be so cruel? It was a logical solution, given the circumstances. I guess, but couldn't you have left me a couple? He got you down. Stop whining. Don't mind this idiot, sir. Where did you get that outfit? It looks cool. I can't say. What do you mean? Was it a gift? Looks like a work uniform. There's something familiar about it. Where did you get a uniform like that? I'm applying. I'm not sure it's a standard uniform. You can submit your curriculum vitae to the courier. If Sanctus get RPG stat blocks, I imagine it, it, they'd have lightweight or slow fall glide rather than flight. Yeah, that makes sense because, um, or at least when you see them in the anime, um, when you see um, X, Exu, she sort of floats to the other building because it was like slightly further down so she was all, like able to slow glide i really like nightmare choosing between riri and then enva in uh they really should put executor under vermil's supervision and not the other way around it <laughs> They led the Sancta. They built a city and named it Laterano. And when disaster looms once more, a new revelation shall dawn upon the Sancta and guide a new... And a new guide shall lead forth. My brain just went buffer mode for a moment. I'm not entirely sure how I read an entire half of the sentence first. <laughs> the paradise of the Sancta shall remain eternal as witnessed by the world. We bear witness. We bear witness. We bear witness. I'm guessing this is their version of Amen. And, um... Battlestar Galactica's version of, um, so say we all. 
Did you rewatch the lore video of this event? Yeah, I watched um, because it had the subtitles this time. <laughs> Item misa est. You can raise your head now, my child. No. A different name is appropriate here. Raise your head and stand by my side. Saint... F Saint? <laughs> Saint Federico Gaio. Gaio? Hmm. Does a double L make, an, make a L sound or a Y sound? Because I, I'm used to saying Y because of Spanish. <laughs> the first chosen of Laterano, who does not come from the ranks of the popes. A measured reaction. Not a fan of the balloons. L for me. Okay. I don't understand. Hmm? What is the duty of a saint? What is a da dis disaster? What is a disaster that looms? Does it call for immediate action? I need to know the details in order to formulate a plan. An appropriate question, but none, but not one I am able to answer. The warning I received was as cryptic as it was direct. It does not provide for a specific answer. Lord just blue screened. <laughs> and meanwhile, it's like, oh, a cryptic message. No, you just can't read the error log. Each error has its own trials and tribulations, for which we can only prepare to the best of our ability. It is certain, however, that you have been chosen because it believes that you have the ability to respond to the unknown. I don't understand. There is no hurry. We have time. It had a Windows update. <laughs> Right now, there are other things we can talk about. This garb suits you, Federico. It makes all the cardinals bickering over the cut and colour worthwhile. I didn't think that was a cardinal's duty. Let's not be so strict. People can't help but focus on that which draws their interest. I, I must admit, I do kind of feel as if the majority, if not all, of the Sancta have some form of ADHD. <laughs> I've seen your resume, Frederico. I can tell that you are an outstanding executor. Executor. Would it be executor or executor? Executor, I guess. The, the commandments do not bind your thoughts as they do others, eh? Rules can be broken, if necessary. Of course, I can't bring myself to disagree. You judge matters by your own standards. That is why you always carry out your missions effectively, if somewhat unorthodoxly. I have a mission for you. I had intended on going myself, but there are other matters that require my attention. Now, I found someone who can go in my stead. It will not be e an easy task. Expect unexpected complications, the likes of which you have never seen. But I believe you are up to it. I want to see why he chose you. Will you go, Federico? Executor Federico, ready for assignment. What is your command? What are you looking at, Arturia? The flowers, Excellency. This is the only place in the monastery where they grow. I'm glad I made it in time for bloom season. It's a view worth savouring. Clement would oh Clement would be happy to hear it.
It has been a long time since anyone came to see the flowers that he cared for. They used to grow around all around the abbey. This is all that is left. A shame. I understand there is a beautiful story behind them. There was. What about now? Perhaps there still is, but my eyes have grown weak. Flowers are no longer pure enjoyment for me. I've grown up too old, spent too much time here. Flowers cannot fill an empty stomach, just as your music can soothe pain, but not avert aging. I know things don't always go according to plan. Perhaps this was inevitable the moment our call for help reached Laterano. And now, only the bitter fruit remains. Bitter fruit, even the name itself leaves a bitterness on the tip of the tongue that does not go away. I rather like it, actually. Poor soil does not bear sweet fruit. Poor soil, yes, poor soil. But it's home for people like us. I thought we would find a better, more peaceful life. We had walls that protected us from wind and rain. We had faith unwavering. Our longing for a peaceful life won out over our longing for home. Uh, hello, I assume you rolled three times or saved up. I rolled once and I'm going to roll the other two afterwards. <laughs> All that was left was to find a quiet corner of the world where we could live in peace. But now, the old man's emaciated face twitches slightly. It is as though he is mustering the strength to tear apart that which threatens to crush him beneath his loose skin. His words are replaced by a string of coughs and gasps. How many years has it been? Fifty? Sixty? More? When disaster came from the sea- oh, okay, this is Iberia. When we rejected the Inquisition's demands and left Iberia- oh, no, maybe not. Left Iberia to settle there, here. I've seen children born, and then buried those same children. By the way, how much uh, do you have to begin with? I think it was, what was it, 1,900 I think I had? So I ha I've got enough for three rolls and not enough for a fourth. Life has become hard. Life is always hard. Yes, you're right. Look at the living. To where do they belong? I can't tell. Are they of Iberia? Or Laterano. We've come too far and too long. Arturia. Am I still a Lateran after all these years? Only you know the answer, Abbot Stefano Torre Grossa. I hope I still am. Then you are. You spoke the truth, Arturia. There is no need to test me anymore. A misunderstanding. I never intended to probe your secrets. I permitted you to stay because these doors are open to all who bear no ill intentions. But I still don't know what you are seeking, Arturia. What if I said I seek nothing? I take it you don't believe it. Then let me put it this way. Pay no heed to me. I promise I will not interfere with anything here, nor with your decisions. Have you done your annihilations at least? Most of them. I thought I did finish all of them. 
but I must have been thinking about the Sunday when I did finish them and then Monday when I started. And then I assumed I did two days and therefore that was all I needed to do. <laughs> Then, let me put it this way. Oh yeah, I read a spit. Hello, Ringo. Just passing by. Um, won't read this event for now. Okay. Have a nice time. I'm simply a traveller. Drawn to this place by the stories here. Praying that the ending is a good one. Should I swear in the name of my halo? You're a cunning one, Arturia. But I believe your words. The old man falls silent again. Do all who grow old grow dry and stiff? The lines on his face, once so beloved, now cast only lethargy. Is it lethargy or lethargy? Lethargy, I think. The eyes have become clouded by the decades that they have seen. The face should have been warmer, gentler, more Lateran. The Holy City never answered, all these years, but I never stopped praying. My faith taught me to love, to be kind. It did not teach me to abandon our brothers and sisters, our loyal friends. To abandon the few for the happiness of the many. The devoted would call it a shameful betrayal. Do you? I don't have that answer, Arturia. Where does the believer go if faith has betrayed itself? Hmm, interesting, hello. A very sparse wing he has. This person looks cool. I recognise the armour plating. I recognise the pauldron. Something about the triangles. Here's the stuff. Laterano Jones. <laughs> it does kind of look a bit like... <laughs> Get it salted and dried quickly. It should last the winter. I'll get someone on it. Gracias. This meat will buy us some time. I'm sorry. Finding game was harder than I thought, with the weather with the weather getting colder. So I'm assuming this is I don't, to be honest, I didn't really um look into the event too much. I I'm guessing this is quite further up north. Either like Sammy or was it Gerag or mm, Ursus? Doubt it. Don't say that. Thanks to you, there will be meat on the table for children tonight. Don't apologise. Like in general or this place specifically? This place, the cold place. Because it sounds like hellish sort of cold so i'm assuming it's probably something more arctic-y like those places i mentioned i'm not sure where laterano is though isn't laterano relatively south or more like towards the center of everyone <laughs> okay forget what i said make them something good for dinner i would love to but we've got to ration Where's Hyman? Uh, she didn't... Or is it Hyman? I don't know. She didn't get hurt, did she? Uh, don't worry, she's fine. Really? Don't hide anything, okay? An injury is no small thing. No problem. We'll come back if we do need anything. It's getting late. I should go. Hey, Gerald. Gerald, I don't know. Hmm? Everyone's been talking about Laterana. They mean no harm. They just a little anxious. 
Also, I thought gracias is Spanish. Is it Latin? So, um, gracias, with a C instead of a T, is Spanish. And um, I'm guessing gracias must be the Latin one then. So, I'm, I'm guessing, I guess in that case, Spanish is the closest to Latin when it comes to that specific word, because the others have changed. Because I think it's, isn't it grazie or something in um, Italian? And, of course, like, French is mercy. <laughs> Please, don't mind it if someone lets something slip. I understand. Uh, I see. That's good. Yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bulky youth. <laughs> I mean, accurate, I guess. He's got a chin that can slice through metal. Thanks for coming, Raymond. Let's go. We're not needed here. Is Himan back yet? Hi, man. I don't know. No, I haven't seen her all day. Davy led a group out to look for her. I'll join them later. Yeah, there is something with the orange. I just can't think of what it is. I did initially think um, Reunion, but it's too dark orange, and the armor plating is from something else. But I, can't, I just can't put my finger on it. We have a scout team ready. We'll have concrete intel when they get back tonight. Good. Carry on. Brother Gerald, are we really going to accept things as they are right now? Calm down, Raymond. You know, we never had a choice. So, we're compromising. What are we? What have all these years been for? What's the difference between us and them? We're just... Raymond. That's enough. But... No buts. I know you don't like it, Raymond. There's still time. If there's someone you want to see, go and see them. Well, I don't like what's going on here. What's going to happen in the end of that? Eating. Ingestion of food for the organism's survival. It is the basis of life and the fundamental instinct of all animals. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going when you say it so... Eat, digest, metabolize. Activities for the sake of survival. The most legitimate desire there is. That's a... Isn't that a... Um... Church of the Deep? blue or is it just coincidental that it's the same color i wanted to try and persuade you but now is not really the time you're weak too many things interfere with our thoughts wrap our judgment preventing us from following the guidance of our faith what in the church of the deep is going on here yeah literally <laughs> You can no longer hear me, can you? There is no answer. I can only think of Seaborn. What is going on here? The priest's voice mixes with the strange sound echoing through the underground space. Why is the Seaborn this far? This is like far north, isn't it? Unless this is somewhere else now. The sound of eating. The sound of ripping food apart and swallowing it. Life that has lost its original form grows in the shadow. It's almost winter. The sun has begun, has become a rare sight. This building is like a remote island. It has held out long enough. It can no longer hold out. 
Right, so um, Green Priest is sus. Vote out. See the gaps in the walls where the drought comes through. Drought. Is drought or drought? I can never remember. There is little fuel left. Many will suffer in, in the cold without winter supplies. Of course, we're not entirely helpless. There are a couple of small Originium veins nearby, aren't there? Originium can be mined there for energy generation, as you have done for many years. But it's dangerous. Everyone knows the risk of oropathy infection. Who would take such a risk if they had no choice? Oropathy is a death sentence on an island like this. You left your homes and came here. You accepted the most dangerous jobs in order to find a place to call your new home. You're an indispensable part of this abbey. You still can't hear me, can you? I must admit, I feel a little sad. When it, when I keep saying Devouring Shadow, all I can think of is the shadow creatures that come from the Seaborn boss that you fight in IS. Uh, hello? Anyone? Any? Uh, whoa! What's a nice halo, just like a diamond or square shape. What's with all the broken glass? Oh, hello. Fortuna, good timing. Uh, give me a hand with this window frame, will you? The wind broke the window. I'm trying to plug it up. No problem. Did we fix this cup? Um, ah, didn't we fix this a couple of days ago? I remember my teeth chattering in the cold while listening to Father Stefano's sermon. Should I get some tape? I'm afraid tape won't do. The pieces are over. Are all over the place, and I don't think I can put it back. Sorry. Oh, Fortuna, yeah. <laughs> Why apologise to me, uh, Patrus Clement? It's not your fault. What should we do? Find something to block it up? The wind's rather cold. Uh, should I find some unused fabric? Don't waste it. Save it for clothes. It's getting cold. There should be some planks left from when Gerald took those old houses apart. I'll go look for them. Well, that'll do it for the frame. Thanks, Fortuna. What were you here for anyway? Oh, I wanted to see if there's anything to eat because I missed lunch. It's all Fina's fault. What's my fault? Fina! What are you doing here? Listening to you talk about behind my back, Delphina. The halo shape reminds me of Enfield and... I don't like the fact that you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling it like it is. Now that wouldn't... That wouldn't have taken so long if you didn't keep going on and on about it. It's because you were dumb enough to get scammed. I told you to be careful of Le Lemuen. Yeah. She's been ta talking to everyone, pretending to care. Who knows what she's really after? Huh. What's, what's Lemuen doing here? You've been absent-minded lately. Did she say something to you? No. No one said anything to me. And I'm not being absent-minded. Yes, you are. We're all Sanctituna. You can't fool me. That's an unfortunate short name to give um, someone called Fortuna. <laughs> Tuna.
So, so it's Lemuen. You know she has no intel ill intentions. Why don't you trust her? Why do you hate people from Laterano so much? We are Laterans too, weren't we? Father Stefano says we can go back soon. Why did we lock up the Lateran emissaries? Why don't we go back? Because Raymond and the others can't go with us. Isn't that enough? Isn't that reason enough? Do you want to leave them behind? Well, I don't. That's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? Enough. The abbot has his reasons. Say no more. I'll find some planks to board up the window. You two calm down. Can't you sense my thoughts, Fina? I can, Tuna. But I... Never mind. I lost my call. Cool. I know that wasn't what you meant. I was wrong too. You always have that gun with you. You got it from your dad, right? I thought it didn't work anymore. It doesn't. Maybe it's a parts problem. And I don't know how to use a gun myself. Ah, oh, so is it not instinctual then? I, I just always assumed it was. But I'm not carrying it to use it anyway. I always thought it was a decorative accessory. Partly. Holding the gun like this is like praying. And that's what Dad said when he gave it to me. He said it was a sanctum practice. It's also quite a common practice along the um, southern United States. Anyway, I don't know about any practices like that. My grandma's gun is in a canyon. And we can share, Fina. I'll try to get it fixed, and then we can use it together. Now, let us pray. Yeah, but in the south they also burn crosses. True. I'm yet to see any burning Lateran symbology. The planks should be here somewhere. Oh no, he's into the basement. Ah, there. That should be enough. I could fix the outside windows too. If there are any left over. And fuel. Uh, not much fuel left. <sighs> the law vid. Oh yeah, it did. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's a seaborn. That's the Seaborn. Why? Why is the Seaborn so far north? They're not supposed to be on land. Okay. Who goes there? No one? Am I seeing things? Yes, you are. Now just go up the stairs immediately. Don't stay here any longer. I thought I said train. <laughs> Imagine going into the Lateran, uh, Laterano events without reading the Iberia events. That would be really weird. Just a random person with a fish tail just walks past. It's like, eh? <laughs> the terrain is so strange. Do you still call this a desert? There's a canyon below. Mind your step. Papilia, I, I never knew you were such a gentleman, Rochelle. Oh, that's um, isn't that Ida? Because I think I've said, I think I've came across the, the name before, and I forgot then how it's properly said. Nothing good ever happen, happen. Nothing ever, nothing good ever comes from you com complimenting me. I think that's twice now there's been... They've had two words put in. Insider, yes. 
I keep wanting to say Ida, but I, I keep saying it so much I forget his name is actually Insider. Insider? I barely know it. Anyway, so. <clears throat> Don't be so uptight. Your bank account is safe this time. That doesn't bode well. Is that the Nomadic City ab uh, the Nomadic City? Is that the Nomadic Abbey we're looking for? I think so. Wait. If it's nomadic, why not just move if things are getting cold? Unless it's broken down, maybe. I think so. What do we do? Knock on the front door? City's out of fuel. Right, yeah. You know, sometimes I forget about that aspect of the cities. And I just think, yeah, like... When they said not enough fuel, I was thinking like, you know, fuel for a fire or fuel for machinery. I forget that these are moving cities. <laughs> the the concept of requiring like energy sometimes escapes my mind. <laughs> you think someone will answer? What do you think, Federico? That's an abbey. I was expecting it to be one building. <laughs> that's um, that's a big abbey. Monsignor Michael or Michelle? I, I'm not sure. I'm never sure how to say that one. Approach. Roger. Uh. Should we do a quick briefing first? Target building has been identified. It is a large mobile complex built jointly by Iberia and Laterano in 1011. Official name... I'm going to have to get used to saying this name. Sanctilaminium Ambrosi. Originally controlled by Iberia, it disappeared after straying from its route 61 years ago. Laterano received a request for help from the Abbey one month ago and sent two uh, nuncios to investigate. Straightforward enough to this point. So how did we end up losing contact with our nuncios and bringing in guns like you two? My mission is to discover the whereabouts of Cardinal Aid Lem Lemuen and Legatus Oren... Oh, Oren, okay. Argeolus. And to guarantee their safety. I, <laughs> I like how my mood dropped immediately when I saw Oren. <laughs> yeah, they must have um, left Iberia during the Great Silence or to avoid the Great Silence. Which I guess makes sense. If they were along the outskirts of Iberia, they would have had time to leave before the um, tsunami would have reached them. Uh, then again, it is quite a... I imagine these things move quite slowly. I am also to ensure that the Abbey is able to function normally and avoid casualties. So his whole... So His Holiness wants you to take it easy. Well, I signed up for Lemuen. I couldn't care less what happens to Oren. Mood. Same. Your personal feelings are irrelevant. Target status is unclear. And we are unable to determine if the inhabitants of the building are hostile. What do we do then? Infiltrate and investigate? No. I suggest we take the most direct path and finish this quickly. If they are deceased, we will return their bones to Laterano. Nice. Straight into a tutorial, okay. Holy statue can calm the emotions of, its, of residents. Okay, cryptic. I'll see how this works. Time to pray. Only through in... Introspective prayer can one's mind be freed from panic. So is that, I'm guessing that's the thing. 
Oh, there's one there as well. Roger. Oh, we're back with the techno prayer. Are they saying are there? I don't know, they might be. The enemy is bursting into the monastery and disturbing the residents. Well, I imagine it would be. <laughs> it's quite disturbing. And their panic will increase as the battle goes on. And please take note, when enemies pass by a resident, their panic level will immediately increase. Wow! Civilians actually run away from the enemies. I'd have loved to have had that um, a couple of chapters ago. Instead of running right through them. <laughs> However, residents can calm down when they are next to a holy statue and they will not be as easily frightened. Oh, okay. It's still rising, though. Uh, and there's a bar now. The residents will become terrified when their panic levels hits a certain threshold. When this happens, they will quickly expend their energy and erratic by erratically dashing around the map in search of a holy statue to pray at. Motherfucker was right next to one. Oh, is it not? Oh, it doesn't do anything until you activate it. Oh, you have to spend money for this? Oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Hey, I said go. There we go. I'm really liking the music, though. Ah, it seems like he's calmed down a little after finding the holy statue. Why is his health bar orange there and I thought it was going to turn into an enemy because um, normally the civilians health bars are blue as well aren't they yep 20 dp per prayer what is this catholicism ah it seems yeah okay a bit praying at holy statue will effectively pacify the residents and calm them down I was about to say, did a motherfucker just fall into a hole? <laughs> Bad news, there's a hole just ahead, and those terrified... Oh... Oh, that's annoying. Hello, Raphael. Don't worry. Oh, we get... Oh, it's like a, it's like a roadblock, but instead of a roadblock, it's a um, trap block. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, we're not going to have as many of those planks, are we? We're going to have less planks and there will be holes for most of this um, event, I'm guessing. And I think that's going to be the kicker, so you have to choose where you want to put them. This should do it for now. <laughs> or like this, where it opens up an area. Oh yes, when they die, you lose a life. I expected that. Oh, it's convenient that they're going to reach um, skill usage by the time you panic. There it is, yep. It'd be nice if there was some healing there. You know, I was complimenting them on the fact that they run away from the enemies, but, um, you know what? <laughs> they're not that smart if they're still running into holes. At least the planks don't break. Well, for now. 
And I don't know if they will stay that way. Maybe there'll be an enemy that breaks planks. Like there are enemies that break um, barriers. Don't give them ideas. Uh, it sounds like Knight might already have some insight there. <laughs> Before this place became a den for infected creatures, it was once a magnificent building with towering eaves. Uh, it's interesting that we um, uh, pay attention to the reds beside the plank. Yeah, I was wondering about that because the red was over them, so when they run through it the red was above them still so whatever it is it's a, a i don't know it's weird okay no holes this one not much in a way of deployable either um what am i gonna want to go with i think i'll stick with this Oh, Plume, I forgot about this. Pluma now has a um, thingy. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with it. I can't make one. I actually would have enough to do this. I just don't have the trust for it. Or the level. Actually, while I'm here. I don't have that much. No, I don't have that much money. But I'm fine with doing this. This will be fine. It was autumn at the time, and I was trekking through the barren wastes with a few Iberians who were fleeing their homeland. Just when we thought we were going to meet our ends here there, the abbey appeared in front of us. It seemed like some sort of miracle, an act of divine intervention that couldn't be real. Oh, I think I just realised what happened to Hyman. The venerable abbot, Bishop Torregosa, uh, there, took those people who had nowhere to go. He was a respectable elder, most pious and devout in his ways. Under his management, this monastery, cut off from the rest of the land by the wilderness, became its own fantastical domain of sorts. Here, people whose lives w would normally never intertwine lived in harmony, depending on one another. They lived in metal po material poverty, but not spiritual poverty, making no distinction between class, all putting their best feet forward to live life. Hello. You've got, um, an outfit change. I knew it. This handwriting. When I made my request, the abbot replied to me after an extended silence, saying that while he would not refuse aid to those in need, there was not much he could do because of my distance. Uh, how are you doing? Merry Christmas, by the way. Did you get um, the handsome reaper? Not yet. I will try. Maybe because I wasn't expecting much in the first place, I didn't feel too bad about being turned down. If anything, he seemed... He seemed to be more guilty and... I have no idea what that word is. Chagrined? About turning down my unre unreasonable request than the person who made it in the first place. I am deeply gratified that there exists such a paradise for good people, but at the same time, I cannot help but raise this one question. Can this miracle like a seed that refuses to adapt to the soil it has grown in, truly persist on this land. Maybe I've been here a bit too long. It's about time I set out again to Laterano. 
Uh, chagrined, feeling distressed or humiliated. Okay. People whose lives would normally never intertwine, making no distinction between class. Yes, when I first saw the scene, I also doubted my eyes a bit. If I was speaking just for myself, I'd really hope this place, rare as it is, could last forever. Come in. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe Hyman's fine then. Are you busy, Sen Senora Limuen? Remember that pattern you were talking about earlier? Some of the others tried embroidering, embroidering it into a quilt with me. How do you think it turned out? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Excellent craftsmanship. It wouldn't surprise me to find it on display in a store. I see now why some of them couldn't go to um, Laterana with them. That explains. Horns. You're exaggerating. Now it's getting colder. The blankets you have with you might not be enough to keep you warm. So everyone pitched in some fabric. I appreciate the concern. But if you give it to me, the others might not have enough. You should think about them first. I know how I look, but I'm actually plenty tough. I don't get sick easily. <laughs> don't worry, worry about us. As long as everyone ships in, it's not a big deal. But I must say, I'm not sure tough is what comes to mind when I look at you. What's Laterano thinking these days, sending you so far away? Well, um, about that. It's a question I'd like to ask my superiors. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Even she's thinking, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> I imagine that, though. They look, they, they look at her and says, okay, you're going to go to this relatively distant place and go to talk to these people who have um, are in need of some a lot of physical help and just looks down at the wheelchair looks back up and went really <laughs> why don't we go back because raymond and the others can't go with us isn't that reason enough You want to leave them behind? Well, I don't. Stupid Fina, do you really think I'm that cold-blooded? Of course I'm not going to leave behind the people I grew up with. But... We can just stay... Oh, but we can't just stay stuck like this forever either. Tempers have really been high lately. Is there no better solution? <sighs> Oh. What's wrong? What are you sighing for this time? Oh, him. I thought it was going to be the priest. That's odd. Why are you here by yourself? Delphina's not with you? I'm going to... I, I want to say something about him, but I'm going to keep it to myself. Oh, Raymond. What's that supposed to mean? It's not like Delphina and I are stuck together. You might as well be. You're close enough, just one step from sharing a bed. Oh, whoa. He's hot. Well, I mean, yes, but I'm thinking more so... Wood. <laughs> yes, but still, no. I mean... I don't know. There's, there's something about his design... And I'm not sure if I want to say it because it might annoy people. <laughs> we, do we do sleep together sometimes, though. Hey, wait, that's not the point. O obviously because of the cold. Is V-Line. Okay. For some reason, when I look at him, I think of Crown Slayer. 
when do you get back anyway? I heard you went hunting with the uh, Senor uh, Ger Gerald. There we go. Any luck? Did didn't get hurt, did you? Uh, make sure you let us know if you ever do get hurt. Uh, don't be like Senor Gerald. 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 Why am I saying Gerald? <laughs> Who just toughs it out by himself? Oh, that's a weird thought process. I mean, I know. I think it's. I think it's probably just because of the hood and the um, ripped bits of clothing and the red hair. That's probably all it is. <laughs> and jeans. I think it's just every time I see it, it's like that's oh, like a James Ben Brown Slayer. Hmm. Why am I thinking that? <laughs> You guys are right, though. He is hot. I'm fine. I don't need you to worry over me for no reason. Big hands, too. Anyway. For no reason? Who's the one who said nothing until his wounds got inflamed? And who's the one who went down into the mines without permission and barely made it back? You. I know, I know. Let's just say it was my fault, okay? Hmm, you went to the mines and you've got a suspicious bandage on you. Huh? Let's just say... It was my fault. It was not your fault. Fortuna. Yes? Actually, I came back because I wanted to ask you. And Delphina. And, of course, the others as well. Or oh, Pathy, most likely. Yeah, I'm kind of now wondering that. I wanted to ask if you want to come with us. The young man stopped speaking halfway through. He suddenly falls silent. Raymond? Never mind, it's no big deal. I need to leave for a bit, and we might not be back until late. Fortuna, can you come to the roof of the, um, Sicarium before dinner? Bring Delphina with you too. There's something I need to tell you too. Is infected. Hmm. Very favela like. That's an interesting drone. I like the um sort of like engineer mechanic type get up with all of the pockets and that. Is that a Luger? It looks like a Luger. Hmm. You know, I wonder though, I don't think we have seen any infected Sancta so far, at least not to my knowledge. I was originally thinking Mostima, but I can't I can't remember now. I don't think she Oh Adna. Adnacul might. Let me take a look. What's going on here? They even built a road by the monastery. It stretches all the way to the edge of the city. Is it really so cramped inside? Also, hi. Hello, Tor. I personally think it's plenty spacious. Either. Are there so many people here? It must be tough feeding a crowd that big, especially out in the barrens. See for yourself. Someone's coming. Hmm? Oh, someone just walked out. Should be one of the residents. Where'd Himan... Hi I still don't know if it's Hyman or Himan. I don't know. Where did Hyman run off to? Oh. Uh, Selvasith. <laughs> Hottie with a hidden face. I think his face is quite well seen. In fact, I think there's quite a few. That's quite a few things on him that's quite well visible. <clears throat> uh, who's there? Halos. Your Sancta. Uh, I don't care who you people are or what you're after. But you're not coming any closer. Let's not jump right to drawing swords and crossbows. We only just met. 
Why don't we take a deep breath and talk things out? Good afternoon, Signor. The three of us here are from Laterano, without any ill intent. No need to be so tense. I'd be pleased as punch if you'd lower your weapon. Be funny if it's just an actual um, pattern on his shirt. <laughs> like that um, movie, Meet the Spartans, that's um, a parody on 300 where they draw the abs onto their bellies. <laughs> what brings some Laterans all the way out to these remote mountains? Um, we, s we were sent by His Holiness to search for two compatriots. You're wasting your time, Rochelle. Or Richelle, I don't know, Rochelle. <laughs> It is clear to me that he knows exactly who we are and why we have come. He has hostile intent. You clearly have a strong an animosity towards Laterano, judging by judging from the displeasure on your face. From where does your hostility come? I have no idea what you're talking about. You've been standing by the entrance from the side alley this whole time. You're deliberately trying to block our view. You don't want our attention there. So, what is in there? Who do you think you are? Alright, Frederico, there's no need to provoke the other side. Though I'm sure that that wasn't your intention. You haven't forgotten the mission His Holiness gave us, right? Low key. Low key. We can't afford to make a mess of things again. Again? I wasn't trying to provoke anyone. Your Laterans are always like this, showing up out of nowhere, making a mess of everything. Given the information we have, your situation wasn't looking good to begin with. I dare you to say that again. Wanna fight? Come on, I'll show you. Uh... The air is awfully tense over there. Federica has a way of drawing attention, and that makes light work of burglary. But that hooded guy over there. Uh, something's not right here. Forget it. I'll figure out the math later. First, I need to find our target. <laughs> Let me guess where you might be, Lemuen. <laughs> Looks like no shortage of guests lately. To, uh, guests today, rather. Hello, Senor Gerald. 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 There we go. I'm never going to be able to get that through. I thought I'd get to see Stefano here. His Excellency still has a lot of business to attend to. He just left. He can't have gotten far. So given your athleticism, I'm sure you could catch him up. Uh, thanks. I haven't heard you hitting the string today. If you enjoy the sound of my music, I don't mind playing something for you right now. I'll pass. I'm very grateful for the joy you've been able to bring some of our people. But not that everyone finds comfort in your music. At least I don't. I can't imagine why a musician like you chooses to remain here. But I do hope you won't bring disaster upon us. Or well, I kind of feel like, at the moment, I feel like she's in cahoots with the priest and the seaborn thing i don't know there's something about her it just gives me um the same vibes as the woman from um stortifera <laughs> you think too highly of me as far as i know disasters have always been buried in the soil from whence they take root sprout blossom and bear fruit amaya there we go if such a seed exists in this garden it will break through the soil sooner or later. And I am simply a passerby, watching it all unfold. We have no seeds that ought to sprout. Before long, everything will return to normal. There will be no accidents, let alone disasters. All I ask, lung, young lady, lung lady, <laughs> all I ask, young lady, is that you don't do anything unnecessary. Are you giving advice? No. I'm giving you a warning. 
such roundabout, insensitive words. Though I suppose the fact that you haven't done anything means you're holding back, right? The long lady of Chen. <laughs> I suppose that's to be expected, given the circumstances. Hmm? Oh my. Small... Liberi? Pretty. Ma'am. Indeed, no shortage of guests today. Please, come in, my unexpected little visitors. My name is Arturia. Oh, what? Oh, would you mind telling me yours? Mm. Concerning. Okay, okay, stop talking like that, Federico. I didn't say anything wrong. Just stay quiet for now, alright? And you, young man, let's not do anything rash. We really are just looking for one of our missing colleagues. And, uh, whoever you might be, we mean you no harm. One of our missing colleagues. <laughs> They're here for two people. <laughs> you sure can talk. That bruiser of yours means no me no harm. Mm. <clears throat> well, you have my word. Either way, I... Uh, either way, could you please let us through? If you could tell the m man in charge we're here, that would be ideal. Sophilia. Huh? Where did Sophilia go? She is already inside. Huh? When she... Just now. Gah! I can't let you Lateran's run... run... Rushed? Aren't you see the abbot? Come with me. Ah, great. Does that mean you're letting us in? A warning first. No running off like that woman. Oh no! Hurry! Someone! Clement, what's wrong? What happened? Thank goodness, Raymond. Let the others know. A raid? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Raymond, who are these two? Don't worry about them. What's going on? Oh, right. It's terrible. I was repairing the windows just now when I saw something moving in the distance. A band of robbers from before. The band of robbers from before. They're back. Speedy and come and look at innocent kids in Arknights and go, hmm, I don't trust you. It's not like, no, I don't say, hmm, I don't trust you to the kids. I say, yeah. hmm, I don't trust I don't you, know, Hypergriff. <laughs> I see small Liberi and I immediately go, uh-oh. Forwards. We're fighting you guys. Then please do your bestest job, or I'll be really bored. Your orders. Attack. That was stupid of me. That was fortunate. Uh, boop. Boop. Fear not. Here I come. Oh, that's good. They're both moving at the same time. That's actually quite convenient. Now's the time to help everyone out. I'm just gonna bonk this. And, um... Oh, that's a drone. Ooh, what are the drones going to do? Solid positioning. 
They attack the statue. Okay. Hello, Merwind. I should have had her pointing to the thing. Not really much point in me putting her there. I could put her there to face there and it would get them, but it won't really do that much. Okay, I'm going to have to watch for those drones because they're going to be annoying if they can attack the um, altars. Raymond's acting all shifty. What is it he can't tell me right now? Something that has to wait until after dark. I don't get it, but whatever. He can do his own thing. It's already so late. I'm only now bringing the food over. Senoria Lem Lemuen must be starving by now. And these portions are tiny. Oh, that was her. I thought it was my stomach rumbling. Be patient, stomach. Stop growling already. Didn't you just, didn't you eat just a minute ago? I really hope I can feast one day. Just eat all I want without worry. You're going to turn into a... Um, seaborn. What? Who's there? I know you're here. Who are you? Who's hiding over there? Even if you keep quiet, I... I already saw you. You aren't from the Abbey. Come out now. If you don't, I'm going to call the others. I, I mean, I'm going to pull the trigger. All right, all right, I'm coming out. <laughs> I guess I messed up. You sure have sharp eyes. Was it the light from my wings? I knew it. It's way too easy to pick out a Sancta. What with everyone having different wings and halos. Good grief. And here I was thinking I wouldn't need her to be all that sneaky. I've never seen you before. Who are you? Okay, Senora, let's put the gun down first. That isn't something a nice girl should be pointing at her own kind. You're a Sancta too. You can feel it, don't um you can feel I don't have anything against you. I am uh I guess you can call me a justice bringer this time. Mm, yeah, something like that. Since I'm here to save people and all. Fine, if you don't want to talk, I'm going to call for help. Whoa, whoa, settle down there. Mmm! Go with me. Sure, but you better not scream. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't do a good job controlling my strength there. Are you alright? <laughs> Who exactly are you? And what are you after? It's nothing. Oh, it's nothing I can't tell you. I'm looking for someone. Another Sancta, just like me. A pink hair, probably still in a wheelchair. She's got a kind and gentle look to her, but her personality is actually quite... is actually anything but. Is she talking about Lemuen? Hmm? That look on your face tells me. You know who I'm talking about. My lucky day. The food you just brought over. Was it... who's it for? I've got a feeling you're taking it to Lemuen, right? Yeah. How does she know? You're a Sancta. <laughs> Looks like I'm right on the money again. You really need to work on your poker face. So, would you mind telling me how Senora Le uh, Lemuen, I nearly said Sim Senora Lemon, would you mind telling me how Senora Lemuen has been doing? You'd prefer not to say, huh? Or are you not allowed to? You're hesitating and a bit scared. S stop it! Stop making things up. Am I making things up? I guess you'd know. You seem to have a lot on your mind, which feels a little odd. How could a cloistered place like this have so much trouble? Where is all that coming from? Are you getting into fights because there aren't many of your own kind here? That's none of your business. Isn't it? 
Are you pay are you saying that's because the patron firearm you're holding hasn't been made maintained in a while because it's rusting? I don't mind helping you out with that. I'm pretty good at gun repair. So why don't we do a little trade? You just tell me where Lemurin is, and that's all. Why not tell me? I bet you already have an idea who I am, right? You look pretty smart to me. Did Laterano send you too? Like Senora Le uh, Lemuin? I was. That's enough small talk now. I'm a bit short on time. You're really not going to tell me where Lemuin is. <sighs> well, if that's how it is, that's how it is. Say. Hey. Let me take care of delivering that food for you. <gasps> that's that then. Vale. I really thought she was going to shoot her, but then that wouldn't make any sense at all. She's literally a tank, so that would be impossible. Well, not impossible, but stupid. <laughs> I, I, I'm so used to everything being sinister. <laughs> Last one. That should wrap things up. These people are bandits. They sure know how to make a ruckus. Calm, calm down. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got to admit the the way she was like, okay, I'll take this now. It, I don't know. It, it, in any other scene, in any other place, in any other part of this game or any other story, that would be a, I'll take this now, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't very much built up to be like that, but of course they wouldn't. That would be stupid of a um, thank to do that. Federico, how are things on your end? I heard a whole bunch of commotion over there. You didn't blow up any buildings, did you? God. Good, that's one loose end. <laughs> By the by, Karma, how do you like Leon help gimmick? Eh? Oh, the, um, the civilians. I mean, manageable so far. I did not. Great, well done. I'm just wrapping up over here as well. Thank you so much. You two are incredible. I should teach the uh, robbers to behave themselves for a while. It sounds like this isn't the first time you've been attacked, is it? How often does this sort of thing come up? If you came from Laterano, you must know how difficult it is to travel these roads. If we didn't have a ride, it wouldn't we it wouldn't have been we wouldn't be have been able to get here so easily. Nobody wants to hang around a place like this, except the truly desperate. As you saw, there's nothing out here in these barren lands except this monastery and a convenient contingency contract over there. Once those thugs set their sights on us, do you expect them to give up? He's right. Now that it's almost winter, they'll be coming more often. That reminds me. Didn't Benny hurt his leg last time? Oh no, not Bennett. How's he doing? He's still got a bit of a limp. Only option is to tough it out. Uh, by the way, who are these two? We're, um, I suppose you can call us emissaries from Laterano. Ah, guests from Laterano. How are you called? Executor Federico of, La of the Laterano Notorial Hall. Executor Rochelle, we have another colleague with us, but she's already one step ahead. Uh, Senor Federico, Senor Rochelle. You don't seem surprised. Sure, we knew it was only a matter of time before Laterano sent another. The only question is, what kind of guest we would be getting? I thought... 
The tall, thin and frail middle-aged man subconsciously glances at the guns in the hands of the two Lateran visitors. I thought the next time they send someone it would be to hand down charges. Charges? Of what crimes have you committed? Under the notorial hall's purview, most criminals see a reduced sentence upon surrendering themselves and obtaining the forgiveness of the wronged. S Surrender? Sentence? Huh? What are you talking about? Hold on, Frederico. We don't have to hand. Oh, we don't have a handle on the situation yet. Let's not worry about that until we find Lemurin and Oren. Oh, now you mentioned the second colleague. <laughs> uh, sorry. We'd like to talk to the man in charge here. Do you think we could? Ar uh, you could arrange that for us. Ah, yes. Give me a second. I'll go. Never mind. <laughs> no need. Oh, his eyes are quite red. Thank you for your assistance. I would be the man you're looking for. Sorry, I was one step too late. Your Excellency, and Gerald. Federico is rather dumb when it comes to situational awareness. Yeah, he's got the social skills of a rock. <laughs> Brother Gerald. Would you be the most reverend abbot of this monastery? And this, uh, Senior Gerald, is he also a community leader? No, he is not. <laughs> True enough, I am not such important person. I know such important person. Don't insult rocks. <laughs> Man, his neutron star level of dense, yeah. I realise you must have many questions. Please, come. Uh, let us find a more suitable place to talk. Clement, please close the gate and don't let anyone approach for the time being. But Your Excellency, I'll be here. Raymond, you keep at it. Does he also have horns? I assumed they were ears at first, but now that I think about it, the way they're angled. Oh, they all got horns. They're all, they're all, um, sarcas. Okay. My dumb ass was thinking those were ears under the um, hood there. I thought it was only the woman. No, okay. That's why. So it is literally a half saying to half sarcas. All right, be careful out there, brother. Then I'll be waiting for you at the door. If you need anything, feel free to call me. Mans is going to drop dead and they're going to all blame us. All right, now. No one will disturb us. I am the bishop here, Stefano Torregrossa. And I have... Oh, and I also serve as abbot. Of this monastery. It is a pity that you two came such a long way only to find our hospitality so lacking. We have no need for meaningless ple pleasantries. Under the power vested in us by His Holiness Pope Evangelista 11th. XI 11th. My colleagues and I came to locate two Laterano nuncios. I ask, where are Lem Lemuen and Oren Argyllus? I suppose I have no choice but to tell you. Senora Lemuen is currently a guest of our monastery. But do not worry, we would never mistreat a guest, and her safety is assured. What about Oren Argyllus? The whereabouts of Signor Oren is actually what I wanted to ask you. Is it not the case that you arrived so quickly because he contacted the Lateran? What? Senor, I'm afraid your statement is inconsistent with, inconsistent with our intelligence. It is our understanding that the that the Ambrosi sent a distress message to Laterano, 
We dispatched two nuncios in response and lost contact with both of them. And so, His Holiness sent us to find our people and investigate the situation. Does any of that conflict with what you know? We were unable to retain Signor Oren. By that you mean you were unable to keep Oren restrained? That is what he just said. You can say that again. He was on edge the whole time. While inviting Signoria, Senor, Senora Lemuen to remain our guest, he took advantage of the distraction and slipped out. We don't know what happened to him after that. Federico? Yes? Oren escaped, but he hasn't shown himself or contacted us. That is suspicious. Does that ring any alarm bells with you? Yes, we literally had an entire ep um, event not too long ago. Yes. You could add a little more than just yes. And my becloaked friend, I can't imagine how any of the ordinary residents here would be so quite in the know. Who exactly are you? Think of me as the hunter here, or maybe a bodyguard. No need to worry about me. Alright then. Uh, we'll just run with that for now. Set Oren aside for now. Yes, please. We don't need to worry about him at all, ever. He can disappear. <clears throat> we demand a reasonable explanation for Signora Lemuin's circumstances. Why would a monastery need to restrict the movements of a Lateran Nuncio who came to offer aid? Your answer will determine our subsequent actions. Considering you are both Lateran emissaries, you should already be familiar with the monastery's history. Our knowledge is limited to the information in the mission briefing. Over a decade ago, we entered the wastes to avoid a catastrophe, ran out of fuel, and the monastery has been trapped here ever since. Why has it taken ten years to get help? Unable to... I should just shut my whole mouth. Unable to communicate with the outside world, all we could do was try and farm for ourselves. But the soil in these parts is mostly fallow, and not much food grows these days. So who sent the distress signal? That's not all. The beasts that wander the barrens, and robbers even more vicious than beasts, all pose grave threats. We never had much choice. So you decided to take in vagrants wandering the wastes? Take in is far too generous a term. No, we did no such charity. We were merely accepting people who had no home to return to. There are many reasons a person can become uprooted, and we did nothing more than offer them a new place to stay. Stefano. A point of clarification. There's one thing I'd like to ascertain. Well, Federico. What I do? What I do? Hey, don't. I got really confused then. Like, why are you unsheathing a sword? Okay, that's... <laughs> what? Oh, what are you doing? Or what are you do and then cut off? Reverend Executor, this is most unusual. I'm finished. You really just went for it. But this is definitely something. Your Excellency, Excellency, <laughs> Your Excellency, can I ask you to explain what's going on here? In the heart of the Lateran Monastery, why have we found a Sarkaz? Well, I guess that's that. I apologise if you find this offensive. But what are you doing here? I already told you, I'm just a hunter. Gerald, Gerald, the hunter. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you believe me. You must remember that this isn't Laterano. Even weeds struggling to grow in the ruins can stand tall. Thank you. E. Makeshift walkway. Oh, nice. Okay. 
How can we pave the way in for life in this desolate wasteland, River of Life? Technically a part of Laterando. It's also technically a part of Iberia. Oh, that's a lot of holes. That's going to be annoying. Yeah, I'm going to bring in another... Um... I don't know why, but whenever she says, where's the rally point, I instantly think of where's the lamb source. It, there's nothing similar, but I don't know. In a place far, far away. Dun, da, 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 sorry. There was... Once... There once was a village where the people led happy lives. Some built homes to shelter the others from the elements. Some reclaimed farmland. Others set out to hunt, search for ores. And at the same time, fought back scoundrels who would take the village for themselves. Is she basically just describing this place? No concept of ego existed among the villagers. No difference between self and other. No one could survive without the rest. They lived together in that small village and called it home. But nothing good lasts forever. The soil yielded yet less and less. Hunting became become more and more difficult, and the food and as food dwindled, stomachs grumble in hunger. The cold mountain, cold mouths, crept closer and closer. Months, I'm an idiot. The cold months, not neither mouths nor mountains. The cold months crept closer and closer, but there was not enough fuel for heat. Something had to be done about this, and so everyone said. This must be a trial given to us by the Lord, and we must pray for forgiveness. Just at the time, a group of well-meaning people came, came by, and upon see, seeing the plight of the village, spoke to the heads of the villagers. Come, with us, come live with us in our city, but we can only bring those who are most like us. Yeah, she is talking about this place. Come and enjoy a better life. All you need to do is leave a few of you behind. I don't like this story, Signora Arturia. Hmm? Why not? Starving is really bad. It hurts. Yeah, it's bad, and so is leaving your friends behind. Yes. That is a very correct idea of collectivism. Collectivism. With a little bit of heroism mixed in. Or even romanticism. Romantic stories do have ways of stirring the heart, but it's exactly that romanticism and high-mindedness that has a way of confounding others. Naturally, neither you nor I are immune. Uh, big words. I don't get it at all. You're talking like a weirdo again, Signora Autoria. <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry. That's my mistake. Let's go with a different story then. What would you like to hear? I want to hear a hero story. You all want to become heroes? I want to be a great hero, just like Mama. Wow, your Mama sounds amazing. Evil Baiju looking ass. Be good now, and give me just a moment. <laughs> I like. Oh, I'm gonna say I like that the um, I like that the guitar was hiding his face. <laughs> like it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I seem to have caught you at a bad time. Am I interrupting you, Arturia? 
You ask despite already knowing, most reverend Bishop Aulus. Deep Josh Groban from Bleach. Oh, I think I know the person you mean. Oh, I, I kind of see it with the um, eyes. Apologies, it was not my intent to displease you. I merely came to bid you farewell. I do kind of also picture him with like a Dottore voice. I don't know why. I, don't, I mean, I know he's... There's something dodgy about him, not least of which because the colours are instantly Church of the Deep-like, and he has a thing in the basement. Owing to the addition of an unexpected travelling companion, I plan to leave as soon as possible and escort my companion back home. Question. Why is your... Travelling companion a seaborn. Why is your travelling companion here in the first place? Two, why would it want to go back home instead of causing havoc elsewhere? The other thing in the basement. <laughs> Finally get the cello out of my face, I want to speak of. <laughs> Allow me to offer a prayer for this pitiful soul. I am not trying to fight with you here. Especially not in front of the children. However pitiful should never be used to describe one's resolve to live. Resolve. Hmm. Resolve. The amount of control we have over our own lives is often not as perfect as we believe it to be. And no one is ever the wiser until proven otherwise. Think of things that one must never do. They are often already done by the time their senses return to them. Does the act of blame contradict the heart's inner desires? Who is to say that our so-called resolve is not just a coping mechanism to use to deceive others? At times like these, where are tr truest emotions and intentions hidden? When will the day come that, our, one, that one's thoughts, emotions and actions can truly be unified? Well, there's a couple of things under the water that feel that way. <clears throat> Is this not the point of your inquiry, sir? It seems that today is... a day in which a great many things will unfold. I hear a commotion outside, as if some acquaintances have been have come knocking. Sound, <laughs> sounds somewhat fishy. <laughs> if I were you, Bishop Aulus... I would not be so... I would not be in such a hurry to leave just yet. Sorry to keep you waiting. You took forever, Signora Toria. So slow. Please forgive me. Why don't I tell an extra spectacular story to make up for it? Do you want to hear a story of a grand battle between heroes and villains? I do, I do. All right. Then you must listen carefully. This is a story all about Alma. Sorry. A long, long time ago in a faraway castle, there lived a young boy. The boy didn't express much emotion and rarely spoke, but he was incredibly fierce in a fight. Why do I sound like that's um, going to be mirroring um, Executor? I told you I'm just a hunter. If that's not enough to satisfy you, then I don't mind trying something else. I'm just an ordinary, roughly middle-aged sarcasm. I do not believe that is the entire truth. That weapon behind you, you carry it always. You actively conceal your movements, which is a mercenary's habit. Maybe that's why I recognise the 
armor plating. Maybe one of the mercenary groups in Dark Knights had this scheme of um, orange and triangular plating. That's for self-defense. You saw it yourself. Those bandits are always raiding us. Things aren't so peaceful here. Hodra wore it. Oh! Let me see. Ah, oh, very similar, yes. Not quite the same, nor exactly what I was thinking of either. But very similar in that sort of triangular pattern of plating. It's just in his case, it's more, it's closer put together into like one singular plate. Whereas in this case, it's a bit more fragmented. But they could be the same faction then. Or similar. You saw it yourself? Yeah, yeah, I read that bit. That does not explain why you have a mercenary's habit. I've got farm equipment in my hands more often than weapons these days. I hunt for a living here. Sometimes I work in the fields, or in the mines when I have to. No need to get all excited about these old hands of mine. I'm just an ordinary guy bound up by life. Federico, stay mindful of our mission here. I don't think now's the time to be chasing hypotheticals. A reasonable determination. Would your excellency mind explaining the situation? Sorry to bring you trouble, Stefano. No, you have nothing to apologise for, Gerald. As the two of you might surmise, over a decade ago, Gerald brought a small group of Sarkas to the monastery. At the time, they were stranded in the barrens without food or ammunition. When they found our monastery, they had no choice but to try and make contact. You didn't expel them, so they chose to settle here. Is there a difference between driving out those who've been cornered and driving them into a corner yourself? Uh, I guess that makes sense. At first, not everyone was accepting of our new neighbours. But rootless hatred and prejudice have no purchase when survival is at stake. We provided a place for these people to stay, and in turn, they helped us deal with our own problems. That is something that happens a lot in life. What the fuck is going on? No idea who that is. Block. Block. Oh. Sorry about that. My Discord just got a whole bunch of those fake graphic designer bot things messaging me. I just want to double check my my own server to make sure they haven't come in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, it's just my, it's just my DMs. That's fine. Ah, uh, the life of a streamer. <clears throat> our food shortage, the bandit threat, and our jet gradually depleting energy supply. They relied on us, and we also relied on them. But you still chose to send messengers to contact Laterano. A choice made in the absence of choice. Have you seen the new skins? Not yet. I saw some of them, obviously, from like the promotional stuff, but um, I haven't taken a good look at them yet. Laterano is willing to provide us with assistance, and is also willing to welcome us back in. However, even Lemuen, the Nuncio, willing to grant us the most consciousness, is... Oh, still held one non-negotiable condition. Sarkas have no place in paradise. No place? Why? On the basis of race alone? Just because they are Sarkas? How are they any different from us? Without these stalwart brothers and sisters, we would have lost our fight for survival long ago. <coughs> Where was Laterano during all the time we were supporting each other? 
So, let me beg the two of you to once again plead to the wisdom of His Holiness the Pope and to your faith. The haggard old man raises both his hands. He both appears to be holding up his faith as well as crumbling beneath its overwhelming weight. The sanctus faith is formless, intangible, nowhere to be found. Are you actually coughing? Are you acting like... So you can sound more old. Uh, a bit of both. I've got a bit of a cough from when I was ill, but I'm using it to my advantage. <laughs> his fingers grasp for the halo above his head in vain. The old man's hands gradually slipping until they cover his face. Oh, so maybe you can't physically touch the halos. What Lemuen said is correct. There will not be sarcasm in Laterano. Nor will Laterano allow any sarcasm through her gates. Hey, Frederico, you don't have to be so blunt. This is a fact. Enough, Stefano. I already told you, we can accept it. You go to Laterano... And we'll find a place to start over. That nuncio, Lemuen, promised us some support. But in name, we have to go our separate ways. It's always been a fact. The fact that they even offered us that much is already more than I expected. It's more than enough. No. It shouldn't be a fact. It's certainly not enough. Don't... I don't get it. Or you don't get... Don't you get it? I don't know. That we even normally have to go our separate ways only makes this all the more ridiculous. Nominally, rather. Not normally. Sorry, Stefano. We've given up. What? What do you mean? What I mean is... You don't have to subject yourself to this, just for our sake. You don't need to be so hard on yourself. I've talked to the others. We've decided we're leaving. What are you saying? No, what are you saying? I can't hear in this ear. I assume that settles things, Reverend Executors. We'll leave. It just means letting go of a group of destitute, destitute refugees. You can do that, right? The notorial hall does not harm innocent civilians. I'm glad. Really, Federico? I do not lie. Um, how should I put this? Well, whatever. You're leading this operation, so if that's what you've decided, I don't object. I swear to you, a sarcasm has never been in a Lateran uh, Sicarium. That in itself does not constitute a crime. Really now? How shall I say this? There's actually no explicit prohibition on it. Bishop St Stefano Torregrossa, I will continue to pursue the whereabouts of Oren Argiolus based on your testimony. Okay, so they're not actually banned from the churches and that, I'm guessing. They're just not allowed in the city itself. May I take it that you've accepted the conditions put forth by the Lateran? That all monastery residents, with the exception of the Sarkaz, will be resettled to in Laterano at a later date. If you remain silent, I will interpret this as your tacit consent. So they can visit a church that's not specifically in Laterano. Yeah, sounds about right. I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense because it's, um... I guess they're not really... I don't know. I know I'm, I'm assuming then they're not, like, religiously... It's not like a religious thing. They're not, like, seeing them as the Antichrist, I guess. 
which is weird because they are technically foils of each other. They are mirrored in that sense, so you'd expect them to, but I guess not. I guess it's more political then. Because otherwise they'd be banned in all the churches if they were just seen as the demons. I don't know, it's really weird and confusing. Stefano. Time. What? I need a bit more time. I would finish my final sermon and spend one last night here. Please, give me just a little more time at the end. I will give you an answer after matins tomorrow. Or just the law is allergic to them, or maybe every sarcasm that gets close to the law would transform into a sancta. It's possible that they could. I mean, they were originally sarcas, weren't they? So, why not? Maybe all those centuries ago, the sancta, the sarcas that were turned into sancta, decided that others weren't worthy of being turned into it. So it might not be the law doing it, but rather the people who run Laterano since, maybe. What do you think, Federico? Fine. Now, I wish to meet with Cardinal Aid Lemuin. Well, I think, so if, so if, if the law can't change um, people anymore, then that might be the reason enough in and of itself. If it can change people, the reason might be that you have to be in proximity. And perhaps it's more so that it's, not, it's less the law doesn't want to do it and more so that the, the people of Laterano aren't allowing them to get close enough to the law to be cha to be um, converted, even if they wanted to do it. You know, that might even be the real reason they're not allowed into Laterano, but they can still go to Lateran churches. Or maybe it's a difference in the sarcas now. Maybe the Sarkas have changed too much and they can't be changed in the same way the original TKAS could. Senora Lemuen is our guest. Of course, you may visit her if you wish. Understood. In that case, we will take our leave. Hey, wait a second. At least say something first, Federico. <laughs> oh, that boy. Am I still holding on to some of my old Merc habits? Looks like even after all these years, some habits die hard. I mean, when you spend your entire life living to not get killed by someone, you 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 go to, you grow tactics. Although to be fair, you don't even need to do that. Soldiers in nowadays, even during peacetime, um, don't get rid of their old habits. They'll avoid the grass. They will. Um, say certain things that don't make sense in um, civilian context, stuff like that. <laughs> Man, we haven't gone far into the story yet and already so much world building. Yeah, I, I do really like the way they write this stuff. <laughs> Looks like... Okay, yeah, I saw that bit. Gerald, are you absolutely certain of this? Sure, Stefano. You know I wouldn't joke around with this stuff. We're all bound by the need to survive. What she said was no lie. Anyone home? I brought you winter clothes. Huh? That's weird. Where is everyone today? Fina, what are you doing standing around here? Oh, Caroline, perfect timing. 
I came by to drop off everyone's winter clothes. But is something going on? I've been walking around all day and haven't seen a soul. What are you all busy with? We have some stuff to take care of. Female, ho female Hodora. Thanks for coming all the way out here. But we're fine with what we have. Uh, we already have enough winter clothes, so you can take these back. Also, tell the others not to worry about us. It's rather nice seeing Sarkaz and Sancta being normal together. Yeah. What are you talking about? When in the last few years have any of us had enough to get through the winter? Aren't you still wearing that light coat, Caroline? The temperature's going to drop pretty soon. So we need to get you into something a bit thicker. Fina, is something wrong? What's that in your hand? Oh, it's nothing. Just some hard tack. Oh, okay. No, let me see it. It's not, I guess. Hey, wait. Santa Girl reaches out to snatch the supposed hardtack from behind the other girl's back. Almost instinctively, she splits the dry, hard thing down the middle before she is pushed away. Stuffed inside the hardtack are the truths hidden away all the time, finally exposed to her eyes. What is this? Bran and Sawdust? Caroline, didn't you say you had more than enough food? Then why are you eating this? No, Fina, listen to me. We were just... Just what? Talk to me, Caroline. Tell me, what depths have we stooped to these days? That is not hardtack. That is not anywhere near hardtack. Oh, they were eating tree bark. Pretty... Sawdust and um, Bran. They were basically eating plywood. <laughs> knock. Knock, 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 knock. The sound of knuckles rapping at the door. Rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Sorry, I'll, I'll dispense with the, um, with the, uh, <laughs> with the raven. The door isn't actually locked, but the guests outside still continue to knock and wait for a response. <laughs> this used to be a secret code agreed upon by several friends from school. So much time has passed that Lemuin thought she forgot, but the facts prove that she has not forgotten. Carver's brain is something special. <laughs> Look, sometimes I just read something and my mind goes to other things. They're just around. <laughs> the meaning of the co code's words tapped by the guest is Rescue successful. And first arrival. Come in. Salavir, room service. Gratias, please put the food over there on the table. Do you need a tip? You can just ask if you need to tip. Oh, you can just ask if you need to tip. It's got to come from the heart, right? Hmm, I guess you have a point. You don't seem surprised at all, Lemuen. Are you disappointed that it's me? Of course not. I thought it was about to say, of course. <laughs> The fact that you're here means news of this place has already reached Laterano, right? Hmm? Well, more or less. That Oren guy actually left you behind and ran off by himself. Wait, how do you know that? That wasn't discussed. That was discussed by the other two on their own. When when I get back, 
I'm going to tell Mostima and Fiametta. Oh, God. Oren is not. Oren doesn't have much time left in this world. <laughs> Time for some slack, won't you? No. Boo. Yeah, exactly. I'm with her. Boo. All right, then. Back to business. Do defeat the Huns. I know his holiness wouldn't send you here alone, which means... I need you to report your mission, as well as who's with you. Oh, switched your business voice, huh? All right, then. Cardinal Aid Lemuen. Perhaps she was listening, perhaps uh, has microphones on it, but that would make sense, I suppose. This mission was commissioned directly by His Holiness and is led by Federico, executor of the Notorial, Notorial Hall. The other functionary is Richelle Colombo. Really? Colombo? <laughs> does he, do <laughs> he does detective work as well, doesn't he? Wasn't that his thing in... The department he was running. Another executor who volunteered to come. Our first objective is to locate you and Orin. And the second is to investigate this monastery. Oh right, Federico also has other mission has another mission to maintain order. Unfortunately, I think his holiness picked the wrong guy for that uh, job this time. And that concludes my report. Mm-hmm. I see. So, His Holiness actually sent that Federico, huh? Okay, I get the gist of things. Gratias, Ria. Again, with the nicknames. Come on, you should know better. So, what are you going to do next? On the surface, it looks like your movements are being restricted, but in fact, it's you who doesn't want to leave, right? I figured that was the case. If you want to leave, nobody here could stop you. My legs aren't fully healed yet. Oh, please. Like that makes a difference, exactly. <laughs> you trust me too much, Rhea. Though I suppose that's fine. All right. It's true that I decided to stay behind. If Federico was trying to arrest the bishop here on charges of false imprisonment, I'd appreciate it if you could clear up the situation for me. When your legs don't work like they used to before. That would be a terrible... Um, uh, put on hold music if you're on a phone call. <laughs> also, sorry, but I don't plan on leaving just yet. And they see me rolling, they hating, <laughs> patrolling, trying to catch me right and dirty. Uh, mind if I ask why? The reason? Hmm. Let's just to say that diplomacy isn't something that can be settled with guns and bullets alone. I mean, that should be the last option when it comes to diplomacy. Even America has learned that. When it comes to a shootout, the odds are always in my favour. But if I have to sit down and for a negotiation, I need to tread carefully, or I might end up persuaded by the other party. Her leg not heal, said the lady who climbed up a shop sign. Yep. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of, um, oh, I don't know how many people of you will know this. Most of you probably won't. But there was this um, comedy show called Little Britain in um, the past, like it, literally like the um, 2000s. And one of the characters or two characters was um, these two friends, I think they were, or a carer and something. And the person was in a wheelchair. Except they weren't actually disabled. And so um, every time while the um, carer wasn't looking, the person who's supposed to be in a wheelchair would be doing the most ridiculous things that, like, absolutely stupid, but would never be found out. And one time was literally he climbed up the top of a electrical pylon, you know, those metal things. <laughs> and that's kind of how I feel like with Lemuen, especially when she just appeared on that um, um, billboards that time. It's almost the same sort of thing. It's like, how did you get up there? <laughs> Sounds like a fun show. It, it was a really, um, it was a really, it was quite a funny show, to be honest. It's very crude. It's, it's um, very crude humor, but um, it is very funny. 
I suppose it's like that classic British comedy sort of thing. It just so happens that I get along quite well with the residents here. So I want to see who ends up changing their mind first. Why are we talking about Little Britain? Oh, um, talking about how her leg hasn't healed yet and yet she was somehow able to um, be on a billboard. And it just reminded me of a character from Little Britain. Oh. When you put it that way, it sounds like you plan on compromising. Back in school, you watched me for an entire year just to make sure I showed up in class. <laughs> I thought it'd be a, say, a shame if you couldn't get your diploma for attendance reasons. As for the problem we have here, I still have a friendly attitude at least, right? I knew Oren would report the situation here, which is why I chose to stay behind. I've had a bad feeling about it, and I don't want to provoke the bishop any further. With all the information I have on the monastery now, if there ever arises another opportunity to sit down at the negotiation table, I may be able to get him to relax a little and accept my proposal. <sighs> I thought you'd say as much. I'm glad you understand. That's not what I said. But that's what you're thinking. I kind of hate empathy sometimes. <laughs> now, now, don't talk like that. How much do you know about the situation here? Enough. Nothing special about it other than the group of Sarkaz. Did you know they sent a total of three messengers? Leah? What? I had the impression that you never liked field missions. What made you sign up for this one? Maybe I wanted to see you. Liar, liar. Anyway, I'll find the others and explain your situation first. But to be entirely honest, I don't think what you're doing here is going to accomplish anything. It's worth a shot. <sighs> you're getting scarier and scarier, Lemwen. Not like it matters, though. Finally mustered the means to reach out to me. Here, I thought you'd abandon the mission after seeing Lemwin. That's gonna be Orin, surely, if it's not Insider. Who knows? Might not work out. No joke, please. Spare me. That's gonna be Orin. You brought it up. Alright, I don't have time to chit-chat either. Let's talk business. Phew. Dealing with guys like him really wears you down. What a pain in the ass, this mission. Never would have taken it if I knew. Huh? Who's there? Well, didn't think you'd actually follow me, girlie. I... I can't have you running around the monastery by yourself. I need to keep an eye on you, to make sure you don't do anything bad. And, uh... There's also a favour I'd like to ask of you. And of course I'll pay you back for it. With what, exactly? <laughs> Sorry, that was insensitive of me. <laughs> um, let's see. Flour, eggs, and, uh... Where's the leftover sugar from last time? Sounds more like they want to bake something. Uh, I've been trying so hard to scourge... Scourge? To scrounge up leftover ingredients from dinner every day. So why is there still so little? I need enough for Svelia, Avus, Stefano, Fina and Raymond. And also... Patrus, Gerald, Pat... Oh, Patrus, Gerald, Patrus, Clement. Set, uh... Signora Caroline and Wait, Clement could um come to Laterano, can't he? He's not Sarkaz, he looks like a um other thing. Can't remember now. That's not going to be enough though. 
Dear, there we go. Yes, Elephia. Tuna? I'm coming in, okay? There's something I have to tell you. What are you doing in here? Oh, Fina. I was just about to go look for you. Do you still remember when I helped Amita Nina? With farm work before a month. Where did I put that little bit of white sugar I got in return? How long ago was that? Where are you going now? What do you need sugar for? And where do you get all those cooking ingredients? Wait, Tuna. Don't tell me you're still trying to bake sweets at a time like this. Um, Fina, what's wrong? Are you mad at me? I wasn't trying to hide food from you. I just wanted to prepare a, su prepare a surprise for everyone. Fina, don't be mad at me, okay? I promise you'll be the first to have some after I'm done. Tuna, you... Forget it. Just put those things down. Now's not the time to be doing stuff like this. Huh? But... But what? But... I promised someone I'd make Herb... Uh, uh, Pizella as a gift. A gift? Yeah, she helped me fix up my patron firearm. So I have to thank her. It's like a miracle, Fina. Once this gun got fixed, I felt something... Different about it. Just holding it in my hands. It's like... Like I knew how to use it from birth. Okay, so her father's firearm, patron firearm, is now her patron firearm. So, that means that little girl in Guide Ahead could have her mother's gun as her patron firearm as well. Which answers the question that I was wondering back then. Look, it's even prettier now. And the two of us will be able to use it together from now on. You know what, Tuna? I actually never cared that much about my own firearm. Or for Ava Stefano's sermons. Ah, so when it's broken, they can't know how to use it uh, by instinct, but now she can. Yeah, it seems like it. Or maybe it didn't become her patron firearm because it was already broken before she was given it. Maybe that was the reason. Maybe if it breaks again, she will still know how to use it instinctively. I don't even care that I've never seen Laterano. Huh? Fina, what are you talking about? Can I even really be called a Sancta? Maybe I can, but I care about you and Raymond. And other St and other Stefano, and pa and Patrus, uh, Gerald, and Patrus Clement, Amita, Nina, Caroline. I care about everyone here. This is my only home, and they're my only family. What are you talking about, Fina? Of course, I care about everyone else, just like you. No, it's not the same. If you were just like me. If you knew how hard Raymond and the others have it, then you wouldn't be here, be in the mood to make your joke of a pizzarella at a time like this. You wouldn't be so naive. I kind of feel like you changed after those people from Laterano showed up. Huh? Of course I haven't. Tuna, that gun of yours. Was Lemuen the Laterano who fixed it up for you? No. Your Excellency, I have allowed the two visitors freedom of movement around the monastery, as you ordered. But are you sure it's alright? You... you don't look too good. Do you want to get some rest first? Oh, Clement. It's nothing you needn't worry about. Go ring the bell. This week's sermon is moved to today. So go tell the others. Gerald, are you and your people coming? Sorry, Stefano. We still have a lot to prepare. I can't say how many of us will show. I understand. But... Are we seriously going to accept their terms? Do we absolutely have to leave behind our own? Enough. Go, Clement. Hurry. All right.
If faith has betrayed itself, then I too must make my decision. I must repent. Oh shit, I forgot that there was... I won't sleep on the job. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, that's really unfortunate. I fucked up right away. There we go. Sorry, so good. Forgot the level exists. I legitimately thought I already did the level. It's been a while since I've gone through that. Oh, hello. You're annoying. At your service. Ah! <laughs> that guy didn't stand a chance. What did that C mean? Hmm. Save means his rep Oh, that's unfortunate. That explains a lot as well. I need to nibble this in the butt. Bud, rather, not butt. Here I am. Your orders are that. Okay, I'm going to stop that there immediately because that's where they spawn. You know what? Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> well, shit, that's a problem. <laughs> Okay, I'll... <laughs> uh, see, seeing, as, um, seeing as they came from over there, I'll put Gavial down there to stop them. So right as they come come out, fucking repelled down but away from her. <laughs> we'll be fine if we stay. I won't sleep. Don't know that I need a cushion. There down see and that's why i thought i didn't see the repelling in Forwards. Take aim. your orders you've never ever noticed the hideous grins of conspirators <laughs>
Ooh, there we go. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. They avoid in general. If there is not a set position that they drop in. There you are. Could you ever imagine friends turning against each other and homeland fading into nothing but memories? There you are. At your service. How's that? Doctor no yetori ni suru yo. Oh, now they land on them. There you are. Can't you feel the cities crumbling away? There you are. At your service. Back. I'll charge the weeks. Relax. It'll be over in an end. You've never ever noticed the hideous grins of the right. spirit. Oh no, oh no, no, no. There we go. <laughs> I saw you there. Gerald, are you coming to... Gerald. Gerald, are you coming to ring the bell with me or something? Is that weird? It is. I asked you once before to help me ring the bell, and you were having none of it. You ended up sending Raymond instead. I guess that did happen. I thought you didn't like the sound. I can't save away after all these years. After all these years, you still haven't gotten used to it. You'll have to forgive me. That sounds doesn't carry good memories. Oh, there's the PTSD that someone mentioned earlier. <laughs> Clement, do you still remember Aileen? Aileen. How could I forget? If the two of you hadn't saved me back then, the bandits would have thrown me down the canyon long ago. <laughs> she was the one who insisted on saving you. I didn't want to stick my neck out. You're not supposed to say that to my face. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We set up camp last night. Didn't get the greatest haul, and it wasn't easy to handle either. Raymond bled his game while I lit the fire. I was watching that tiny flame gradually sputter to life. And I don't know what came over me, but I suddenly started thinking of Aline. Gerald. To be honest, I hadn't thought of her for the longest time now. It was only when she came to mind that I realised. I can't even remember her face. She was always a bit of an outcast among us. She once told me that seeing the flowers all over the monastery and hearing the sound of the bell would set her heart at ease. There aren't many flowers to look at these days. Sadly true. Helene loved the sound of the bell here, up until the day she left us, when she insisted on waiting until the bell rang to close her eyes. So that's why you don't like it. Maybe I'm just afraid. Afraid it would be a harbinger of bad news. If only we had enough medicine back then. Her injuries might not have taken a turn for the worse, and we might have not have come to that. There are no ifs. I hope she finds salvation. Yes, we all do. Gerald, is it true that you've decided to leave? Yes. I don't think it'd be this sudden. I should have told you earlier, but never had a chance. It's probably going to be hard on Raymond and Fortuna for a while. Those kids have always gone along. They're... Not going to take it easy. 
Raymond's too young. He was so little when he first came here. He doesn't remember a whole lot. He doesn't yet understand what it means to be a sarcasm. But he will understand. He will come to terms with it. Perhaps that is the sarcasm's fate. Fate isn't a pleasant word. <laughs> you have a point, but I can't find a better one. After chapter 11, I'm kind of getting sick of the word of fate. <laughs> Alright. I should go visit Aline. We'll be walking different paths from here on out. So I guess this is where we part ways. Wait, Gerald. Gerald. Why do I keep saying Gerald? Uh, what is... I don't know. I... I'll go with you. It's only a slight detour. And won't get in the way or anything. Alright, look. The blooming season started. So we can pick some flowers to... Give to Aline. I'll go with you. No, Clement. You're confused. I'm... What? This isn't the path meant for you. You go all those steps over there. Keep going up the scenery. Oh, the scenery is pr prettier from up there. Would you get to see that beautiful scenery? Go ring the bell, Clement. Don't waste time. That is where you belong. Take care, brother. What are you talking about, Fina? This has nothing to do with Signora Lemuen. Liar! Who else could fix up a patron firearm for you? Only that Lateran. Why would you think that? How can you tell if I'm lying or not, Fina? Do I get... Um, oh, how do you tell who I'm like that, where, if I'm lying or not? Fina, do I get how I'm feeling right now at all? Do you get how I'm feeling right now? There we go. I really wish I could understand, Tuna. But... I just don't get it anymore. The halo says you're telling the truth. And that your pain is no less than mine. But if that's true, why do you still have the heart to sit there baking Pizella? Uh, Pizella? I don't know. Pizell. How can you spend time around those Laterans like it's nothing? I just don't get it, Tuna. Lena. It's because I want everyone to live their best lives. What do you mean? We don't actually have a choice, do we? Even though Ava Stefano never said it himself, and nobody talks about it with us. I've always known deep down in my heart. Laterano will let us back in. I overheard them saying that our monastery is actually a very powerful building, and Laterano absolutely will want us to go back. I also know that Patrice, Gerald, and the others, they... They might not be able to come with us. But I still want to try my best. If I can get the Laterans to understand that Gerald's people are all good, then maybe... Maybe what? They'd agree to let us all live together in Laterano? I get it now. Is that why you're always so willing to chat with Le uh, that Lemuin woman? You think you're getting... You're, you're putting in good word for them? Did you beg her? You think we have to get on our knees and beg for Raymond's people to not get left behind, is that it? Fina. You're trying to get them to change their minds, so what do you have to show for it? I... I'm still working on them. You're wasting your time. Wasting on a hope and prayer, Tuna. And what are you doing, Delphina, exactly? How are we different from Raymond or Caroline? Raymond can do more than I can. And Caroline is a lot smarter than me. See, you get it. They're splitting us up. They've accepted us as pe as their people, but at the same time, they're looking down on the others we tr um, down on the ones we truly belong with. I can't accept it. I'd rather not go to Laterana at all. But Fina, didn't we agree that one day we'd leave the wastes and go to Laterano together? That we'd go live in a world without hunger or cold. A world filled with flowers rather than empty barrens as far as the eye can see. That's just childish dreaming, to Tuna. I nearly said Tallulah, Jesus. <laughs> Do you really think so? You think that's just an empty dream? I'm not as optimistic as you are. 
All I know is, ever since those Laterans showed up, the air in the monastery has gotten weirder and weirder. It's true, our lives here have been incredibly difficult, but I never resented that. I love listen listening to Abba Stefano's sermons and Patrice Gerald's stories about the past. Sometimes, when we didn't have enough food, Caroline would slip us some uh, slip us a couple of extra pieces of jerky, or Amita Nina would give us an extra scoop of the thickest veggie porridge to Raymond, and we'd get together and share it. I was fine with that, Fina. But what about now? Everyone is all everyone always talks about how good Laterano is. But all I've ever seen of it are those people messing up our lives. I understand you need to vent, Vina, but you can't blame Senor Lemwin for that. Am I venting? Okay, maybe I am. But have you heard what everyone has been talking about in private? Have you noticed that Patrice Gerald and the others are coming by less and less? While you've been busily d delivering food to Lemwin, while you've been busy making your stupid pizilla, uh, do you have any idea what Caroline's people have been eating? You don't know anything. What? Wait, Fina, what are you saying? What's going on with Caroline? I didn't know... Yeah, you don't know anything at all. It's not your fault, it's mine. If I didn't see it with my own eyes, I never would have known how bad a situation actually is. Tuna... If through our halos, you can feel every fraction of what I'm feeling right now, then hand your patron firearm over. Fina, what are you going to do? Just hand it over. There's no reason for us to pray to these things. Give it to me. Something's wrong with you, Fina. It's too dangerous. I, I can't give it to you. Why not? Didn't you say you'd share it with me? I did say that, but, but this is different. You said you shouldn't get mad at all, but I should be the one saying that. What's gotten into you, Fina? Wake up! I'm all too awake. You can say she's woke. <laughs> I've never been so awake. You want to talk about prayer? About the empathy only sang to have? I've had enough. I don't need to be special. All I want is... Oh, one of you is going to accidentally shoot the other. This is classic trope. You can't! Fina, don't be like this. There it is. Ah! Huh? Okay, who got shot? She's still standing. Fina? There it is. Ah! Uh, ah! All I want is for everyone to stay together. Fina? What's wrong with you? You're scaring me. Fina! That shot has definitely got to ring out. There's got to be people who've heard it. Yo, finally caught up with you guys. So, what's the word? Anything going, everything going well? The Pilia. Have I been saying Serphilia this entire time? The Pilia. You need to notify us in advance if you're going to act on your own. Don't be such a hard ass, will ya? All I want is to finish the job as soon as possible. First, the good news. I found Lemuen. She's inside the monastery. And then the bad news. She doesn't want to come with us. She always has her own agenda. Couldn't get through couldn't get through to her at all. Hey, don't frown at me. Go drag her out yourself if you're if you've got what it takes. All right. Oh, my poor boy, you do not understand. Huh? All right, what? Wait, you've got to be joking, right? No. Sibelia, let me give you a little insider tip from the Toriel Hall. What is it? Federico never cracks a joke. Rather, he's incapable. I will locate her myself and ascertain her, ascertain her thoughts. What, do you think I'm lying to you or something? I can't be certain that you're telling the whole truth. Federico, 
Now I understand why so many girls in Nakoria have you blacklisted. Hmm? Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> of course he'd be oblivious. Well, whatever. Let's set it at that side for now. What's the situation over there? Did you manage to talk to the people? Senora Rochelle? Is this one with you? Yes, we're all colleagues. What else do you want to know, young Sancta? We have nothing here, nothing at all. We also have nothing to say. You shouldn't have come. I'm into Nina. How... How could you say that? We were the ones who reached out to Laterano. You didn't have a problem with it then, did you? I'm guessing Amita is like, um, auntie. A problem? <sighs> I should have told Stefano long a time ago not to expect anything from Laterano. Try to imagine him at a mixer or in... or anyhow... Uh, their female... yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, Julian. Throw them out. We never should have let the Laterans in. We don't need their help. Get them out of here now. Um, Calm down, Amita Nina. What's gone into you? Weren't you just saying you'd welcome our guests? I... I... Seems like the two of you need to sort some things through in private. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm so sorry. Amita Nina here has just got a bit worked up. Um, I don't think we need any help. I just need to take her somewhere to rest. Come find me if there's anything you need to talk about later. Uh, yeah. Make sure she gets some rest. Hmm. That was kind of odd. It looks like things aren't going too well for you over here. What was that about? Things seemed fine at first, but... Then I have no idea what happened. Hmm. Federico, you were the one who wanted to interrogate the residents. Did you notice anything? That woman's mood was unstable. While it's not unusual for a person to change their mind mid-conversation, it's rare for someone to forget the topic entirely and change their demeanour. And so you mean... I do have a theory, but it's just speculation at this point. I will discuss it if the likelihood arises significantly. Well, then that's that. Besides some of the residents being kind of loopy, you must have made some d other discovery. Come on, Reverend Executors. Let's put our heads together. I don't trust her in the slightest, considering she was talking to Oren. So, putting it plainly, that Bishon dumped all his extra work just for the sake of the Sarkaz living here. Didn't we mention we were willing to bring him back to Laterano? He's leaving everyone out here to starve in the cold just for those sarcas. He detained a Lateran nuncio just for those sarcas. Yes. Seriously? First that traitor Anduin leaves, and now we've got this merciful, compassionate bishop. Oh, you know a religion is great when they're referring to that as a bad thing. Yes. Phew, alright, cool. I'm not exactly into the drama, but is he out of his mind? No wonder Lemuin couldn't agree with him, considering what the Sarkaz did in Londinium. Past tense, okay, so this is after. Those Victorian dukes are probably furious. If word got out that His Holiness was cavorting with Sarkaz now, his plans for the Summit of Nations would be through. Okay, wait. So this is after Victoria, but before Guide Ahead? No, it can't be. It can't be before Guide Ahead, but this, the Summit of Nations was happening during Guide Event. Did they have a meeting in order to discuss when to do a meeting? Uh, 
in the last event, he tried to sell the idea. They they had a meeting to make a meeting. Another summit. Oh no, yeah, that's right. It was um, ten ninety eight, wasn't it? That the summit of nations happened. And and this is ten ninety nine. If it's after um, Victoria. So yeah, it either is um, a second one or they're just meeting in order to make a meeting, which was either way. Victoria was in 1098, yeah. But I feel like Guide Ahead was also in 1098, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it wasn't, maybe it was 1099 as well. Maybe this is just a meeting to have a meeting. <laughs> anyway. Sounds pretty serious. Federico, if I remember correctly, the task given to Lemuen and Oren was to provide assistance and reclaim this monastery for Laterano, right? Correct. A good call seeing how this structure could serve as a fort if... and as a rather unique history, and has a rather unique history. Oh, it was um, 1099. Okay, I was misremembering the date then. Definitely could come in handy. Especially when the time comes for us to reach out to Iberia again. At least for now, there's no need for us to stoke conflict and burn bridges here. By the way, Federico, did you recognise that Sarkaz back there? Yes. Who is he? A mercenary. The average conversation between the two of you is about as interesting as what do you eat last night? Dinner. What do you mean? That's literally a conversation that those two have had. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a similarity. That, that's probably something they've said. Federico, how much do I have to pay you for a e few extra words? You name the price and I'll send the bills to his holiness. I have never considered this question. <laughs> the fact that I know he's saying that seriously as well and not like ironically. Like he's not even saying that ironically as they, hmm, I never thought of that. No, he's literally saying, oh, I've never thought of that. <laughs> Dinner, about the dinner, is what I was referring to there. <laughs> Give the guy a break. Oh, right. Uh, we know now Lemuin is well, but uh, what about Oren? The guy ran off a while ago. Even Lemuin doesn't know what happened, where, he, where he ended up. There we go. But he's pretty good with self-preservation, unfortunately. If you ask me, he's probably hiding somewhere, planning his next move. Huh? Uh... Sorry. <clears throat> a bell? Where's that sound coming from? The ringing of the bell signifies the beginning of a sermon. Should we head over? There won't be anyone in the monastery during the sermon, so we could look for Oren. No, I'll attend the sermon. Well, talk about our character. I need to ascertain the overall condition of the monastery to judge whether it can be maintain stable function under current circumstances, or if outside intervention is needed. Anyway, attending a sermon where a large number of residents will be present is a good ob observation opportunity. Oh. I suppose it does make sense if you put it like that. But uh, shouldn't you be prioritising some more clear-cut issues? For example, Oren. Or is there something else you're worried about? You're overthinking. I carry out my duties in the manner I find logical. Man is fucking Spock. Actually, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> not so much Spock, but... Um, he reminds me of... Uh, I think it's Star Trek Voyager. The, um, the Vulcan there and one of the other guys, I think the pilot, and it's like, are you two friends? And one says no, one says yes. <laughs> like, that that, that kind of makes me think of Federico and um, Insider. Oh, hang on. Aren't you from Undertides? 
So what's your name then? Steelwood Plank? Huh? The bell's ringing. That's strange. Federico is more like 7 or 9. Oh, that works as well. Yeah, 7 or 9 would be a good um, one. That's strange. The abbot normally doesn't preach at this time. So why is the bell ringing now? Oh, Clement. It's all about great timing. Do you know what's going on? Now, the abbot rang the bell because he decided last minute to deliver the sermon today. Let's head over to the chapel. That's... We should go, but we haven't finished our work yet. Why the sun sermon, though? Does it have to do with the Laterans? Are they trying to... Uh, are they here to cause trouble? Why would you ask that? It's not a big deal. Just tell me if it's true or not. Hey, tell me. Are they not letting us go to Laterano because Gerald's people are here? Where do you get that idea? It's been on everyone's mind. The Sanctuary and the Sarkaz are on bad terms, right? If not for that fact, we might already be back in Laterano. Well, there's no point about talking about any of that now. I just don't know how Abbott feels about all this. Clement, just forget I ever said anything. Nothing... Nobody's blaming anyone, and there's nobody to blame in the first place. It's just that the winter's not easy. The cold's awful. Yes, I understand. Everyone's just thinking, if we could go to Laterano, we'd have food, clothing, and work, right? It'd be nice if there were some forests nearby. At least we'd be able to forge some branches and to start a fire, so the kids could stay warm during the winter. Yes, you're right. At least the kids would stay warm. But would our lives really improve after we got to Lazarano? Probably. I mean, where else would we go? You don't need to worry yourself over that too much, Clement. God will protect us. Oh, there's the gunshot. What was that sound? What's going on this time? A sound? A gunshot? I'm done for today. I wish everybody a good night. Okay, have a nice night, nighty dear. Clement has rung the bell. Now I should prepare my final... Who's there? Fortuna, my child. Is that you? Punctual as ever. Please, take a seat until the others arrive. I still need to finish a few things. Fortuna? What's the meaning of this? That stance is not a good stance. That's an angle. Oh, she has fallen. Oh! Those are horns. Wait! I thought they didn't get horns when killing their own. No, I thought it was just the black wings and things. I thought the horns were only people born with it. Abbas Stefano. This isn't quite the right music for us, to be honest. Help me. I think it's the other way around. No, because the girl who was born both Sarkaz and um, Sancta had regular Halo. The bloodstained girl stumbles towards the stunned old man, one step at a time. The dim light finally illuminates the girl's face, revealing spotty traces of blood, as well as the black horns protruding from her forehead. No getting horn and fa falling halo and wing is a fallen.
Oh, right, okay. In front of her stands a statue of a gun-tossing saint bathed in light, but behind her lies a trail of blood that cannot be erased. Sancta blood drips onto the chapel's floorboards, giving off a dull sound. It is a deafening sound, one that opens all eyes wide. The patron firearm used for prayer finally slips from the hands that were clutching it tightly. Athena, Athena, she... Don't cry, sweet child. What happened to Delphina? She's hurt. It was me. I, I hurt her. Abba Stefano, please save her. Father, are you alright? What happened? Fortuna? What are you doing here? Is that blood all over you? You... What happened here? Huh? That's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this for real? This ain't funny anymore. You people again. What the hell is going on here? Why has Fortuna grown a pair of black horns? The executor steps into the chapel under the watchful eyes of others. The fallen angel continues to weep, but Stefano has no choice but to turn his eyes to the visitor. The response from her halo is showing fluctuations, and horns are growing from her head. This is a clear indication that she has fallen. She has broken the commandments. So she's not dead? Um, I don't know. She either doesn't understand that she's dead and still thinks that she can be helped, or she's not dead yet. But then I feel like the commandments are very harsh there. It, not If she's not dead and it's still like clearly accidental, like, I mean... Hmm. Should I do one more or should I cliffhanger it for everyone to enjoy? <laughs> Let's have a see. The law is a mechanical being. It doesn't seem to quite understand that much nuance. True. But I mean, there still has to be specification, shouldn't it? Should it, like... Because crimes aren't all the same. Like, you know, you shall not kill a sanctor. Okay, but what counts as killing a sanctor? <laughs> like, you know, gun goes off in your hand while fighting over it. Does that count as... <laughs> if she's not dead, then is it killing or is it shooting at? But then if it's shooting at, can accidentally shooting a gun in the direction of a person and that person happens to walk into it would that then make you <laughs> like, like it seems very it seems too unspecific i guess <laughs> like like if you just shoot in the general direction of the sanctum then would that count as falling even if you don't hit them you're just in aiming around them <laughs> Probably not, but then if that's the case, accidentally hitting someone... I mean, it's weird. <laughs> Let's see. Technically, it's shooting because a certain... boss is alive. Yeah. I guess it's just shooting at, but... I don't know. I think when I played Gu Guide Ahead, I kind of had the impression it was shooting out with the intention to kill is what got the um, fall. But I guess in this case it isn't. It's uh, any shooting at.
I guess it's just incredibly broad, but I don't know. I guess it's just something it never considered when it made the commandments to begin with. Uh, okay, I think I'm afraid I'm going to cliffhanger this, but I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream tomorrow as well, and I'll do a longer stream because I'm, I've got to go into work early, but I finish half day, so I'm probably going to start earlier. So that's what I'll do. Oops, wrong one. There we go. What I will do first, though, is operators. No, it wasn't operators. I was looking for um, skins. But while I'm here, uh, where is he? No, he's not that. Is he? He's a caster. Yes. I like his. I like the English voice. There's the English one, right? Yep. I. Doctor, do you want these files here? A library lady just taught me how to use the printer. Look, I even learned how to print on both sides. This needs to be single-sided. Uh oh, sorry, I'll print it again. <laughs> it's so adorable. It's like it's such a dork. <laughs> Even Nightmare got an English bit. Yeah, I think most of the, um, I think most of the voice, um, most of the voice acting was um, Korean or Chinese. But there's been a, there's a couple of English ones. And I think uh, Nightmare, yes, Nightmare's one. I've got it on. Yep. Um, it hurts my eyes in here, Doctor. Could you turn down the office lights a bit? Yeah. I'm not so used to... Croissant sounds exactly like you think she does. Oh, so does she have like a sort of thick... What is it? Like a southern drawl, Texan accent? Because I, if I remember correctly, she kind of spoke like that in the dialogue. Unfortunately, I don't have Croissant. I don't think I do anyway. She's a defender, isn't she? Nah, no Croissant. At least I think she was a defender. Ah, shame. Call me whenever you need me. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to look at? Store. Oh yeah, and I was going to do the drawers. Um, outfits. Okay, that. <laughs> I <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's all going through. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's right. I thought I saw this one on um, Twitter on the um, Arknights page. I really like it, and I like the blender um, things, the the rotate and the transforms. Blender skin, yeah. <laughs> And then Shalom. I actually quite like that. 18. Hmm, I might get that. I quite like I like the outfit. It's quite casual. Oh, I like those colours. I mean yeah, of course me of all people like in the um purple, pink and um <laughs> blue, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, he looks kind of terminal ill, kind of. I mean, yes, but to be fair, he's always kind of looks a bit like that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Paprika. I still don't know how to feel about this person yet. She seems quite meh in um, Chapter 11. Beeswax. Uh... Oh, okay. Suki Nogi. I completely forgot you existed. Londinium style Miko. Okay. And then Perfuma. Okay. With a fairly um, Elizabethan style outfit, not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Sorry, I just had to look for a moment. I thought she was wearing no socks on one foot, but socks on the other, but that's just shadow. <laughs> I just got really confused then. I thought I saw, like, that was weird. <laughs> Epoch is so base with their past. Yeah. I, don't, I do like the um, Epoch stuff. And then this fest as well. Yeah, I quite, I quite like a lot of these. It's a shame I don't have Partooth. I definitely would be convinced to buy this one. <laughs> so are they all... So there's no nothing higher. They're all eight, oh, 18 and then 15. Okay, interesting. All right, and then in which case, the last thing to do is headhunt. I have got two things to headhunt with. Uh, would I be able to free? I don't think I'll be able to free. I'm going to try it. I'm unlikely to get 10 pulls often, so I might as well do this now. And then if I can, I will. Okay, four star. Oh, right. Save up. I mean, I could, but I'll probably do that anyway. I might as well... I'll spend these ones and then I'll save up everything else until I can do 10 pull. And I might do something when I get paid as well. Because I think this runs on till... 4th of January. Yeah, so that'd be fine. So I'll do these. And then I'll save up everything else. Pain. Popocar, I have never used you at all in my entire life. Oh yeah, I forgot you're not free to pay. I'm very rarely pay to do stuff. <laughs> Mainly just because it's so fucking annoying to pay on, um, on Google Play. Like, because I have to go out of the app into the um, bank in order to, you know, accept it. But then when I go back into the um, app, it resets. So it doesn't count it. It doesn't It doesn't pay. It doesn't do anything. And it's so annoying. I have to like, keep trying and trying. So I rarely pay these days for stuff. <laughs> Just because it's so <laughs> bloody annoying to do it. <laughs> You broke? I'll be fine. I'll go into the base and I'll get the stuff from it. That'll be like about 40 odd thousand. Anyway, yeah, back to that. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, right, of course. Nice. Annihilation, I've done some of it. I'll do the rest of it in a bit. PayPal or Google Play um, gift cards are actually kind of the fastest way to change, um, to charge the store, but yeah. Yeah. In the past, it used to not be that big of a problem. I used to just be able to pay, and as long as it was like under 30 or something, it would just go through. But nowadays, it doesn't. I have to authenticate it every time. And leaving the app, though, gets rid of it all. <laughs> so yeah, it's weird. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for now. Like I said, I'll um, play again tomorrow as well. And I will most likely um, be having a longer stream. I want to get this done by the end of Saturday, just because I'm going on holiday on the 24th up till the 26th, 27th, 27th. I'll be back on the 27th, but I probably wouldn't be streaming that day. So I want to get this done before I go on holiday rather than after. And I think two days will probably be enough time. Just stay out of my chimney. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the general idea. So I'll stream um, again tomorrow and then again on the Saturday if I don't finish it. But yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Thanks guys so much for coming around. I'm liking the story so far. It's quite interesting. It's certainly not as lighthearted in a lot of the storytelling as um, Guide Ahead was. I mean, obviously Guide Ahead had a depressing undertone, but the story itself was quite, um, 
you know, quite lighthearted, quite fun and stuff like that. This one is typical Arch Knight, Arch Knight's fashion. <laughs> this one is the typical um, ounce of depressing in it. <laughs> it also kind of gives me um, a less, to, to a less extreme extent, it kind of reminds me of Salviento in um, um, Undertides. You know, the outsiders come in, the people are not overly friendly, but also friendly. The something's going on and you know fish people <laughs> like it has that same sort of vibe i guess you know the outsiders kind of vibe i i suppose so it's it's not necessarily unique to under tides but it's what re it reminds me of the most which i guess makes sense considering they did actually come from iberia as well ironically but that's it for now and um, till next time thank you guys so much and i shall see you all later Bye bye